Ya me reclamo. Don't complain. Stop complaining. My gosh, you have no right to complain. You have no right. You know, I was watching this. I was crying. Did you feel that? Huh? You're, 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 <laughs> you're watching this. And my gosh, look at this man. He, he should be complaining, but he's not. He's a preacher. Do you know that he's a preacher? This, this young man, Mick, is a preacher. He preaches the word. He goes around the world proclaiming to everyone. Proclaiming to everyone that we need to celebrate our brokenness. The title of our talk for today. Everybody would say that would be celebrate your brokenness. You know, brokenness can mean so many things. Number one, it can mean your physical brokenness. Everybody say that, physical brokenness. Why? Because there are times when you don't like your body. You, you tell yourself, I'm too small. Remember when we were kids, we compare ourselves to the bigger kids. Oh, why are they so tall? I'm so small. You know? And, and then we say, why, 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 are they, why are they big, muscular? I had that problem. When I was small, I, I was thin. I was small. And I would, I would think to myself, why am I like this? You know, there are people who don't like their skin color. Yes? They think they're too dark. I, I was talking to a woman. She, she really feels she's too dark. You know, I look at her skin and say, My gosh, you're as white as Snow White. What are you talking about? No, I'm, I'm really dark. You know? And, and there are people who don't like their nose. Because they're pango. You know? And, or they've got a you know, short, small nose. Some people have got a big nose. And, and they don't like, they don't like, they, they put all sorts of makeup just to make it smaller. I mean, I don't know how they do that. And, and some people, they, they're, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, can I ask you a question? Do you love the body that you have right now? Wait, wait, wait a minute, let, let me ask you a question. Do you actually, you know, you, we, there, there are certain body, body types. You, I, have a, I have a small frame body type, that, that's, that's me. But there are people who have got big body types, right? And no matter what they do, they don't shrink. I mean, nothing happens. They, they don't eat, they exercise, it's still big. Why? Because they're, that, that's their body type. Now, now, the goal is not to slim down, the goal is to be healthy. You got what I'm saying? And sometimes when you try to slim down, you don't get healthy. The goal is to be healthy. Amen? Now, do you like the way you look? Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Sometimes. You've got to celebrate your brokenness. What am I saying? There are, some of us are sick. And, and we say, you know, why am I sick? You know? And it's been going on for such a long time. Well, it's a brokenness. And you can celebrate your brokenness. What am I saying? There, there are parts of our bodies we don't like. Um, and I, you think of the comedians. The comedians, for example, Mahaba uh, Baba. But look at the comedian. The comedian will not hide. The comedian will just show it and will make fun of himself. And guess what? They get rich. <laughs> they get rich because they celebrate. You know? They, they show it off. You know what I'm saying? Angelina Jolie, you know, you, you, you look at that woman and you say, she's got fat lips. <laughs> you don't know that woman? My gosh, she's a very successful actress, you know? And, and they're, they're, um, you've got models who are too dark, you've got, you've got actresses who are too tall, you've got actresses who are too short, but guess what? You celebrate whatever limitation you've got. And guess what happens? You're accepted and you begin to have fun. And, and you become to be successful. There are other types of brokenness, emotional brokenness. You, you went through a trauma in life. There's something that happened in your past and it's affecting you right now. It's a psychological, emotional brokenness. Some of you, you have a spiritual brokenness. You have a sin and, and it's an addiction. And, and you know, it's connected also to the emotional brokenness and you're going through that. Some of you, you've got a family brokenness. You come from a broken family. Or your marriage broke down. And you're a separated person right now. Or maybe, or maybe you're a parent and your child is going through some rough times. Maybe your son is going through drugs. Maybe your daughter is going through a rebellious stage. And you have a family brokenness. You're, you're carrying that right now. Some of you, you have a financial brokenness. You're really broke. <laughs> and you're, you're carrying that right now. 
and you're saying, Lord God, come help me. You know, brothers and sisters, the key is actually to accept and celebrate in that brokenness. You know, when you look at the Bible, you find one, one thing. In the Bible, the big shots of the Bible, they all were broken. They all had their brokenness. Do you agree with me? Every single one of them. Every single one. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to share with you the four responses, four options in responding to your weakness. What do you do with your brokenness? Ask me that question. What do you do with your brokenness? One more time. What do you do with your brokenness? Go on, read. Here are the four options in responding to your weakness. Number one, letter A. What is letter A? Flight. Everybody say flight. There are people who because they do not like their brokenness, they end up with addictions. Any kind of addiction, whether it be to drugs or to alcohol or, or to materialism or to shopping or to, or to uh, gambling or whatever kind of addiction, it, every single addiction is an escape. Say escape. It's an escape instead of facing your pain, instead of facing your brokenness, you run away. Every single addiction is an escape from pain. You've got to face your pain. You've got to accept your pain. And then later on, we're going to teach you how to celebrate. Number, number two, let it be. You've got some people fight. Everybody say fight. Now, say yes if you agree with me that Nick, a while ago, should have been a very bitter person. Diba? Right? My gosh, you were born without arms. You were born without legs. Except a little flipper. You know? Two fingers. He only had one foot. Why, why couldn't it be complete? No, just two fingers. He should have said, I'm angry at God. I'm angry at life. Was he angry? He made a decision not to fight, nor to fly. What's number, let us see. Fantasize. There are people who do that. They've got a brokenness in their life, and they just live in a fantasy world. I was talking to a woman, this wife. She was telling me about the hardship of her marriage. She said, Brother Bo, we're, we're, we're being torn apart. We're, we're going to break down. We're, this marriage will be torn apart very, very soon. So I go to the husband. Guess what? <laughs> husband said, I, I, I kind of like asked, I wanted him to open up, you know, to, to me about the problem in the marriage. How are you, brother? Oh, I'm fine. What wonderful. Yeah, how's, how's married life? How's your wife? I mentioned the name of the wife. Okay, we're okay. Living in a fantasy world. You know, if you've got a brokenness, it won't help if you hide or if you cover, especially to yourself. so much for your monthly tithes and love offering to the Rigma family, without which this broadcast won't be possible. We know that God will reward you abundantly for your generosity. God bless you.